never made a pilgrimage to the Holy Land, you don't know what you're missing. Today's Wednesday, March 27th, 2019, Wednesday of the third week of Lent. Okay, cat update. Went out to feed the birds. I didn't see the cat. I do have to admit that I'm still a little bit of flummox from yesterday's episode. You know, this whole question of marriage is really difficult. This is a lot more than just can be done in a soundbite, for sure. I have to admit, yesterday, there was a ton of footage I shot, but just couldn't include. When you, when you start getting into, like, you know, ontological realities, and when you start getting into these deeper things, it's near impossible to do it in a very quick segment. I do my best, but it's hard. It really is. So today marks three years since Mother Angelica's passing. You know, I'm going to resist the temptation to canonize her, and I'm going to leave that process up to the church herself. Yeah, she was a fiery individual, and she had that fire in her belly. But that fire that was in her belly was a love for Christ, a love for the church. And it showed in all that she did to make EWTN such a success. I mean, Mother Angelica would be the first to tell you that the success of EWTN was purely the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Now, while I know there are many today that want to proclaim those who have died automatically in heaven, and while there's a strong belief in my heart that she was worthy, she would have been the first to come out and say that pray for her in death because there's no guarantees. And so today I'm going to offer my mass for her soul. I did look. If I'm going to hell, it's not going to be over a peanut. <laughs> Can you imagine being in hell and somebody saying, what are you here for? And they say, a peanut. <laughs> what? I mean, that's, that would be stupid, wouldn't it? Some time ago, I had done a written blog on looking down on us. All these people that as soon as they die, it's assumed that they're in heaven. Now, the Catholic teaching has been clear on this. We don't assume anybody's in heaven. And I will wait until some sort of a trial over in Rome in the congregation that declares someone a saint. Until that time, I'm going to presume that they need the grace and my prayers. Baptismal font here that was put in some time ago used to have this very complex mechanism for replacing the water and doing all sorts of filtration. But it was a lot of maintenance and it was hard to take care of. So we've eliminated like the water feed that went into it. But now we have to manually make sure that we can keep water in the font. So what we have to do to refill the font is we've got this five gallon jug that we refill bless the water, put it in the font, put it out in the holy water font out in the lobby. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I do have to admit sometimes that when I walk about and find some of the things that people have left here, there's a book that someone left on hell right next to one of the papal uh, documents, the apostolic exhortation from Pope Francis. So I guess maybe what someone's trying to say is if we don't take care of the environment, we will burn in hell. Put the $5, yeah. Okay. I got, I got it, yeah. As long as you put it, That's I'm trouble. gonna hit 90. Not yeah. yet, two more years. Yeah. I wanna hit 90. Nobody in my family ever hit 90. So I have agreed to be a spiritual director on a pilgrimage at the end of April going to the Holy Land. This particular pilgrimage has Jim Caviezel as one of its headline people going. I'm very excited about it, and I just got my package from 206 Tours for it. It's a really nice package of stuff. Wow! Okay, I'm huge excited. I'm huge excited. I've gotten my, my kit. I got my kit from 206 for the, for the upcoming pilgrimage to the Holy Land with Jim Caviezel. Oh, hold on a second. I was so excited about... Hold, hold on, hold on. All right, let's talk. So just to give you a quick background, 
Several weeks ago, I received an email from the owner of 206 Tours, a good friend of mine, Milanka. She's um, putting together these, these major pilgrimages these days. Anyhow, she sends me an email saying she could use another spiritual director on the pil pilgrimage to the Holy Land with Jim Caviezel. I was taken aback. I didn't even think that I would be considered for something like that. Because if you look at it, there's a whole host of these great and wonderful um, other spiritual directors. You have uh, Donald Calloway, you have Sean McGaldy, you have John Michael Talbot. Anyhow, it didn't take me long, about a whole second and a half that I replied and I said, well, yeah, I'd love to do that. It, it's all coming together now. It, it leaves in about a month and I got my package. <laughs> I got my package with all the stuff in it and I'd like to, to go over a little bit of what they, they've offered. It, it's going to be incredible. All right, so they sent me a new uh, backpack. These backpacks are pretty cool. I noticed it's got a USB port on it. I've never quite seen that before and a little thing inside a little pouch. I guess that's if you wanted to like have a battery or something to keep your phone charged. This is really, really nice. I mean, it's like all of the zippers look strong and, and everything. Big, big plus to have this. Now they also send along with it different things. So they always give you like copies of the Magnificat so that you can follow along. They have this come and see. I, I've never seen this one before. I, I'm going to have to spend some time with it because it's some sort of a guide to the Holy Land and gives you all the information about the places that you're visiting. And if you take a look at it, it it's very detailed. I think it's going to be a huge help. Huge. Now also included is what I call the, the document pouch, this little document pouch that they send us. It's the similar material to the um, backpack. And inside of this then are, again, the other Magnificats. There's a Holy Land companion now that they have. And of course for the month of April, which we're going to be going there the last couple of days of April. You pull out other things in here and you get all of these different things. So they have like the guide to the Holy Land pilgrimage booklet that they themselves produce. This is a great resource. I've seen things like this. And then they give you the instruction booklet. And look, Jim Caviezel, they give you the instruction booklet explaining what to do and what to expect. Um, really cool stuff. Now also included in the, the packet is this way of the cross. One of the things about doing the pilgrimage to the Holy Land is we do the way of the cross walking through the streets of Jerusalem, stopping at the very places where the stations happened. I'm looking forward to that too. Um, so much, so much going on. Of course in there I get my name tag and I guess I'm going to be on the purple bus. And of course, last but not least, I found luggage tags. Actually, one of the things that I'm getting kind of psyched about is that Matthew Leonard is part of this. And I did a pilgrimage with him last year. He is, he's a great, great guy. Um, I'm looking forward to catching up with him again. He gave some excellent talks last year. He's one of those converts who came from the Baptist tradition and is now a faithful Catholic. Great guy. I'm looking forward to it. I also noticed too, when I was looking at the website just now, that Catherine Lau is on this. She's one of the highlighted people. Ooh, she was Cantor in my previous parish. I am so looking forward to hearing her voice again. She is unbelievable. Catherine, we're going to catch up soon. We'll provide some links to the 206 tours. Um, I just got to see this as an aside. I know I'm good friends with the owner of 206 tours and we've We've done a lot of pilgrimages over the years. We've gotten together socially. And I'm not saying this because of my friendship with her. I think 206 Tours has become the premier pilgrimage company. If you are ever considering going on a pilgrimage, 206 Tours is the way to go. They take care of everything from soup to nuts. You'll have everything arranged. All your guides will be top shelf guides. You won't be getting half-baked explanations. Um, you just can't do any better. They're going to have meals included. They're going to have transportation included. It really is a top shelf pilgrimage, no matter which one you take. Now I have my favorites, of course. I love going to the Holy Land, but if I had to slip out a little secret, I love doing the Marian pilgrimage. I've done that one. I can't tell you how many times where we basically start in Portugal and work our way up to Lourdes. That's a, that's a good one too. If you're considering something Marion, I would go with that one. But again, as I would say to anybody, if you're a Catholic and haven't done it, a pilgrimage to the Holy Land is in order.